Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you about a really cool type of menu item that is included in JavaFX and that is called check menu item. Essentially what it allows you to do is have a menu item and whenever you click it you can pretty much toggle a checkbox on and off and it's really good for options if you want to like um, set show line numbers to on or off or set auto save to on or off so it's pretty much just like um, a checkbox but in the drop down menu so I'm gonna make another menu called a help menu so right now we just have file I'll show you guys so right now we just have file edit I'll make another one called help or options and I'll have two um, menu items in it one will be I'll say show line numbers and the other will be auto save so the user can either check these on or off depending on you know how they want their program to run so I'll just say help menu and menu help menu scroll up a little bit alright new menu help alright so the first thing I want to do is just call check menu item and the first item is just going to be show I'll just say uh, show lines so set equal to new check menu item and the title will just be show line numbers so eventually we'll say we're making some you know text editor IDE and the user can either click this on or off to decide whether they want to show their line numbers so how do we actually implement that logic because it's a little bit different it's a menu item that can have two different events see typically whenever we have something like this right here you click the menu item and only one thing can happen alright that's simple enough but with this right here they can either turn them on or off so that's actually two separate well it's not two separate events but I'll show you guys exactly what's going on so if you call show lines which is the menu item you can call set on action so again the user can only ever do one thing to a menu item they can click it so alright that's interesting because we can't have two of these E's in here so how do we kinda handle the logic behind that well your menu item has a property associated with it and that is called the selected property so for the menu item you can either test is that option selected in other words does it have a checkbox next to it if it does then we can just you know do whatever system out print line so I'll say uh, program will now display line numbers so again what's gonna happen is the user is gonna click this and then it's gonna say okay did they check it or did they uncheck it if they selected it aka they checked it then we'll just show the line numbers just gonna print something out on the screen now but you know you really should actually do something with the program and if they uncheck it then I'm gonna be lazy and I'll say uh, I'll be like hiding line numbers not guiding guiding the line numbers into my farm why did I say that I don't know all right <laughs> So the last thing that we need to do is actually add the help menu to the screen and, and now we have to, what was it called, help menu, get items, add all, add this menu item to the help menu. So check this out. Alright, we now have a help menu and by default is unchecked. So we can either click show line numbers and it's going to print out program one now with display line numbers and check out what happens whenever I click the help menu again and now has a little check next to it indicating okay the user does want to select this item and if I click it again then it's pretty much going to uncheck it just like that so again you can only ever do one thing to it the user can either click it that's it so that's why we only have that one event however this property selected property is pretty much asking do you want to select it or unselect it that little check mark or no check mark and we can implement our logic that way 
Now another thing I want to show you guys real quick is this. You see how whenever I run this program, by default, the behavior that's given to us is all of these check items are unchecked. No checkbox. But what if you say, uh, I don't know, you wanted to save the user settings from the last time they ran the program. Well, what we can actually do is we can pretty much enable a default um, selected option or not. So we pretty much say what options do we want selected by default. So if I make a new menu item, I'll just call it auto shave. New check menu item. You know, just be like enable auto save. So we'll say that if the user selects this, then um, you know the program's automatically going to save the work for them. If they uncheck it, then they have to save it manually. But you know, I'm not actually going to write that logic. But I'll show you guys something cool you can do. Auto save. Set selected equal to true. Now this is just going to select it by default at first. It's not going to keep it selected through the entirety of the program. <coughs> that was embarrassing. Okay, um, my uh, face is red right now. Oh, come on, Bucky. In the middle of a tutorial, really. <laughs> All right, check this out. So I started up the program. This first one, of course, we didn't do anything to that, but this last one, enable autosave, is checked by default. Now, of course, we can uncheck it if we want, check it, show line numbers, do, 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 do this all day. But anyways, this, or I might as well start with the top. This is how you use check menu items. This is how you implement the checked or not checked logic. And this is how you set an item that is checked by default. So boom, roasted, good to go. I'm going to go eat some peanut butter cookies and I will, yeah, see you later.